hello and welcome back to another video so in this video i will be teaching you how to build the test circuit for the operational amplifier and also to perform simulations so go ahead and uh, create a new cell view that is called op amp test and instantiate the op amp symbol so v1 and v2 are the inverting and non-inverting terminals idc is the current vdd and vss are the two supply voltages so go ahead and instantiate different sources from the analog library. V VDD and VSS are DC voltages. And also instantiate IDC. And also instantiate ground. And make the circuit connections. The positive of the V sign is connected to V1 and V2 is grounded. IDC is given the IDC terminal and the other terminal is grounded. The supply voltages are 2.5 and minus 2.5 volts. Coming to the input sign, it has a AC magnitude of 1 volt, an amplitude of 3 volts, and a frequency of 1 kilohertz. Coming to the current, uh, we will give a DC current of 30 micro amperes. And I go ahead and uh, make the output pin. V out so once all the parameters have been set check and save for any errors and launch the ADL here once the ADL is launched we will choose the analysis that needs to be performed that will be transient stop time of 2 milliseconds with moderate accuracy DC analysis, we will save the DC operating point and set the DC parameter of the input and navigate back to that window. Start time of start uh, voltage minus 3 to 3 volts. And the AC frequency band will be from 100 Hertz to around 10 gigs. It apply. Okay. And now choose the waveforms that need to be plotted. That is the output and the input. And go ahead and run it. So we will be faced with three waveforms. Firstly, the transient response followed by the DC and the AC analysis. Go ahead and uh, fit the trace. As you can see, the op amp has a far more amplification factor 
when compared to the common source amplifier. So since it have since it has two stages, the amplification factor is multiplied. The output ranges from 2.46 volts to a negative of 2.5 volts. So the peak to peak is 5 volts, whereas the input applied has a peak to peak of only 5 millivolts. These are the AC and the DC responses. Now to calculate the gain of the op amp, you can go to results, direct plot, AC gain and phase, choose the inputs, outputs followed by the inputs, and this is the AC gain is plot. So you can see the gain is 72 dBs, whereas the gain that we obtained for the common source amplifier was only around 5 dB. So you can see the gain is definitely increased. And the phase obviously remains the same. That is, there is a phase shift of 180 degrees when you compare the input and the output. This is it guys, very simple basic op amp circuit and we've performed three analysis, transient, DC and AC analysis and look at the test case again. So this wraps up the simulations for the operational amplifier. So stay tuned for my upcoming videos in which I will be designing the layouts for all the experiments stay tuned thank you for watching